Hey, welcome to Hollywood Happens. I'm John McQuilkin. It is Tuesday, September 5th, 2006. First in the news today, Rosie O'Donnell. Today was the premiere of her new show. It's very similar to the old Tonight Show. Do you remember Johnny Carson always had his sidekick, Ed McMahon? Well, on Rosie's new show, she has three sidekicks, these three ladies that sit beside her. And um, the show is temporarily called The View. No, I'm just joking with you folks. Yes, Rosie O'Donnell has joined The View. Today was her first day. And surprisingly, it was very good, very entertaining. Rosie, you did a great job. I give compliments where compliments are due. The only problem I see with this is you are funnier than the guest on the show and you are funnier than any of the other co-hosts on the show. And for that reason, I would like to see Rosie um, star in her own uh, talk show similar to the one that she had before and I have a feeling that is in the works and that they're just using the view as a way to reintroduce her to um, the audience but I have a feeling that they're already planning to um, give Rosie O'Donnell her own her own show so time will tell on that one next in the news today Ellen DeGeneres and Portia De Rossi you've probably already heard they were in a car accident this past Friday on Sunset Boulevard and it was a four-car pileup, and here's, here's how it played out. Um, they were at a traffic light, uh, waiting for the traffic light to turn green, obviously, and um, there was a car in front of Ellen, and then Ellen's Porsche, and Ellen was driving, by the way, and then behind Ellen was um, the paparazzi in a Buick that had been following Ellen, and then, apparently, a car, another Porsche came and hit the paparazzi's car, which hit Ellen's car, which hit the car in front of her. Um, and the lady that caused the accident, the, the lady driving the Porsche, she's allegedly under some type of substance, but she wouldn't submit to uh, uh, a blood test. So they can't tell what type of substance she was. And since she wouldn't submit to having a blood test taken, um, in California it's a mandatory six-month suspension of your driver's license. But um, um, so what made the accident interesting was the paparazzi got out of their car and right away took their camera and started filming the whole post-accident scenario. And it was very interesting because another man, I call him the mystery man, I don't know if he is part of the accident or not because he wasn't in Ellen and Porsche's car because it's just a two-seater Porsche. But this other man suddenly kind of became part of the accident and at one point Portia de Rossi takes off her purse and the guy takes Portia's purse and puts it over his shoulder and starts carrying her purse for, for her. And whenever I see people do that, it, it just seems a little suspicious to me when someone's like, here, quick, get rid of my bag. I mean, I'm not saying anything, but it just looked a little funny. And, um, but maybe you guys can help me on that. So go to TMZ.com. That's TMZ.com because they've uploaded this video watch the video and tell me what you think uh, the mystery guy that takes Porsche's purse off her shoulder was he part of the accident at first I thought he was part of the accident and if he was that would make him a stranger so if he's a stranger why is Porsche giving him her purse to hold so I was confused and then you also hear the paparazzi say to his other paparazzi friend he said I'm probably gonna have to deal with the police but you keep taking shots. So that was interesting also. So moving on from the accident, 